the quickest way that I've found to adjust a traverse using Simple 3D. Um, first task that needs to be completed is you have to have your traverse. Now this traverse can be basically, um, it boils down to, to where it's basically a polyline. Now you can create that polyline by many methods. Um, any method that you can use in, in AutoCAD to draw a polyline is fine. Um, Civil 3D allows you to create lines um, in many different ways by, by coordinates, by Latin longs, by bearings, azimuths, you know, station offsets, whatever. It doesn't matter how you create it, whether you bring in points that you've surveyed and then connect the dots after the fact. Um, it makes no difference as long as you can get a polyline. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to draw a polyline. And what I'm going to do is make sure that it doesn't close at the end. Um, most of our traverses don't. So I'm just going to make it look like it closed, but it doesn't. Okay. Now, just so we can see the before and the after here, um, I'm going to copy this to the side. And it looks like 4,000 feet will be enough. All right, so this is just a copy. We're not even going to mess with it. Okay, I'm just going to change its color to where um, it's yellow. And I'm doing that with the properties dialog, which you know we've seen already. I've just got it off on the on my second monitor here. So this is just a copy, just in a different place. Now again, this is a boundary that we've created either by bearings and distances. Um, with you know creating lines here, uh, putting in coordinates, bringing in points from the field, and drawing a pylon between the nodes. Um, anything that allows us to create a polyline. Okay, so we've got it. Yes. Okay. Um, the next thing that we need to do is we need to annotate these lines. So that way we get our bearings and distances on there. Okay. The way you do that is you choose annotate, come here to add labels, and we're going to do it multiple segments. Okay. The reason that, that I do this is because it's going to do that entire polyline all at one time. All right. And it's going to say what object. You pick this and you pick it, at, to the best of my knowledge, you pick it to the closest point of the of the beginning. And if we zoom in, you can see that it's got bearings and distances all over the place, okay? Now granted this is just arbitrary ar arbitrary um, bearings and distances here, but but you get the but you get the point, okay? So now that we have that done, we come over here to analyze survey map check. And that brings up this little box right here. Okay. Um, now this is going to get tricky because I'm going to have to do this all on one screen. But basically, what you do is you tell it that you want to create a new map check. And then down here at the bottom in the control or in the command line, you see it's asking for a name. I'm going to back up and I'm going to turn this little switch right here off, which is means instead of using the command line, it's going to ask you right here. Okay, that's a preference, and it's just for ease of showing you how to do it. So we're going to do this. We're going to call it traverse adjustment, and it's asking for a point of beginning. This little icon here allows you to pick that. Okay. If you know the coordinates, obviously you can type them in. But we're going to use this, and then we're going to snap to the endpoint of our 
polygon. So it puts the little symbol there, as you can see, and it pulls in our coordinate. Okay? Now what it needs is it needs the sides that represent the traverse. And the way that you do that is you click this right here. New side. Okay? I want to set this thing to where it auto hides. And move it. Actually, let's, let's lock it right there. All right, let's do it this way. So we're going to add a new side, and what we need to do is again pick this little symbol right here, so it allows us to pick it in the drawing. And you'll notice down here that it's asking for a label. It's not asking for an object; it's asking for a label, which is why we annotated this to begin with. So you pick this, and it draws your line. So you come up and you add another side and you pick that symbol again and you pick this label. So as you can see as we're working around it starts here this purple line represents where we've been this red line represents where we're going. Okay, We're just going to do that same process over and over again to work our way around the traverse. So we're going to add another side we're going to pick this symbol and that label over and over and over until you get to the end all right so now it knows that that is our map check okay so what we can do is we need to adjust that okay that is our complete ending deal and what we need to do is to have this gap right here closed so we come up here this is our map check you right click and adjust map check it does its little spiel and ask you which method that you want to use. Do you want to use the compass, the transit, the crandall, or least squares? It defaults to compass and quite frankly I'm not sure that I understand the difference between them so I'm not sure which one's the best or which one is more applicable but um, our surveyors in the office will. So I'm just going to use the default compass rule. Okay. Um, it allows you to set your horizontal closure, precision, um, and a few other things. But basically the only thing you have to do is, now that you've got it in there, is tell it, okay. Well, user specified traverse limits are not met. Probably because I couldn't make it close. I mean, th this thing closed, well, let me look at this. I mean, let me show you this. It took that one point and moved at the end moved it 13 feet okay so I'm, I'm thinking what that means if you look at this other one the precision is like one in 500 okay one in 500 and that's probably because I've got this thing blown open so bad but as you can see, this purple line now closes. This is our original traverse, which was blown by a bunch. And this purple line represents the adjustment. And if you zoom around to the individual points, you can see what it's done. All right, it's moved this point from here to there. From here to there. Okay. So now what do we need to do? I mean, now what we need to do is say, okay, well, we accept the closure and we want it to draw a new polyline for us. So we get the adjusted polyline. Now to do that, I'm going to take this white one 
and just for the sake of argument I want to change its color to blue I'm not sure if you can see that but there it is okay this little tool right here tells um, Civil 3D to create a polyline that represents the adjusted map check results okay and now if you look there's a white line there that represents our adjusted um, traverse now what we can do is move it out of the way this is our adjusted one okay we come back to annotate add labels <laughs> excuse me figure multiple segments pick on that one there's our adjusted um, traverse annotated and ready to go quickest way I know to do it um, if I hadn't a if I had been a little more familiar with the ribbon and where it put things, which comes with time and, and use, um, this wouldn't have taken near as long as it did, not to mention the fact that I was talking all the time, which kind of slows things down as well. But I'm thinking that for all intents and purposes, if we have the polyline already representing the traverse, we could do, I mean, depending upon the number of sides and stuff, 10-15 minutes we'd have a adjusted traverse so that's this lesson <laughs>